After removing the printer from the box, place it on a flat surface. Remove all tape, packing material, and paperwork. Open the top cover. Remove any other packing material and tape. Press down in this area marked with the D to remove the drum unit. Do not touch this area. Cover the drum unit with a sheet of paper to protect the drum from damage. Open the front cover cassette. Pull this protective sheet out of the machine. Put the drum unit back into the printer. Be sure to align these pins with these slots on both sides of the unit. Press down on the blue D part of the drum unit until it clicks into place. A starter toner cartridge is supplied with the printer. Use it first before utilizing any purchased toner cartridges. Make note of the label warning which states, this starter toner cartridge is used the first time your Kyocera printer is set up and turned on. Open the sealed toner cartridge package and remove the cartridge. Grasp the toner cartridge here and shake it back and forth at least five times. Remove the toner cartridge protective cover. Do not touch this area of the toner cartridge. Grasp the new toner cartridge at these points and align the guides at both ends with these slots in the printer. Press the levers down at both sides of the cartridge until it clicks into place. Close the top cover. Open the front cover or cassette. Pull the paper length guide called the stopper back. Remove the stopper from the paper length guide. Keep the remove stopper in a safe place. You may need it later for large format paper. Adjust the width guides to your paper size. They are located on both sides of the cassette and adjust the paper length guides to the paper size used. If you're using A4 letter or larger paper, pull out the paper length guide. Take the paper out of the package and fan it as shown. Tap on a solid surface to even the pages out. Load the paper in the cassette until the paper touches the far inner side. Pre-printed paper must be loaded printed side up. Make sure all guides are adjusted so no gap exists between the guides and the loaded paper. Load paper to below these tabs. The paper should not make contact with the tabs. To specify the paper size, push the power button located on the top of the printer. The lights will blink. When the bottom light turns solid green, the printer is ready. We'll print out the internal status page. Pull out this paper stopper. Push main power switch again. When the lights begin to blink, push it again and hold for five seconds. The machine will print out a status page, which contains important information about your specific printer.